left the Fearless Explorers. They were just completing their shore leave between missions and have been called in for another briefing for their next mission. A uh, nicely repaired ship, yeah. or maybe a new one. Robert's going to be the DM on this one. Mm. So he gave us the briefing. Basically, Sabine is out. Sabine is out because the ship can only hold five people. I think it's just a, it's like a, an OSHA type thing because we had a horse monster on board on the way home and that was fine. So yeah, we know that the ships can physically fit more than five people, but there must be some regulation or something. Now, Sabine came to the briefing anyway because she didn't get the memo oh, yeah. and she didn't want to be excluded. But then there was a there was a whole thing where Robert was like role playing the captain and Sabine, and ultimately it ended up with them being like, "Okay, but you're not coming," so she <laughs> left in a huff. But I said that I would be able to perform her her duties at, at or above no, her level not. anyway. I think, I think you just start doing the reds. Okay. But, so then you're you're John's character. Yes. So we haven't been introduced to you yet. Yes, they no. inter- they are, yeah, the, the captain asked me to introduce myself. I said, uh, I'm Lieutenant, 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 Lieutenant Hawking, <laughs> Lieutenant Harrison Montgomery Hawking. He's got some sort of brain thing going on. <laughs> they were like, okay. And I said, you know, I'll be, I'll be performing, I'm the flex officer, I'll be performing engineering duties on this mission. So, <laughs> there was something a little odd about Hawking. It was, yeah. Hill, of course, thinks he's completely normal. Right. I think I asked uh, Point Daniels, um, hey, it seemed like Sabine was expressing some negative emotions around this. Can, but wouldn't it be better to be at home and think? safe? What? Why is she? Why is she expressing these feelings about yeah. this mission? Mm. And and he's speaking in this odd, stilted sort of, you know, like, what is this human thing you call what? Mm. Uh, not not in those words, yeah. obviously. So, and especially because of uh, Hill. You know, that made them everyone very suspicious, and they're like, "Where are you from, anyway?" But then the, it got interrupted, and the briefing continued. <laughs> we all know the pill is an alien infiltrator because we all got briefed. No one said anything weird about my character, so yeah. there's no reason to assume that. But there are some, at least initially, surface level similarities. And I actually warned Brian, like, my character's not the same as yours. It just might seem like that initially. <laughs> I think you shouldn't have given a warning like that. I think, I think we should just figure it out. Well, I just warned you. I didn't warn everyone. Because I just didn't want you to feel like I was doing the exact same character as you, because that would be lame, right? That would be awesome. Have <laughs> 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 the, the game where ultimately the entire crew is just alien infiltrators <laughs> that, mind that don't know it's each the mind player scenario. <laughs> yeah, you have you have two different infiltrators, and so you get briefed about him being an infiltrator. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there was no such briefing, but my character seemed kind of weird. Yeah. So the planet we're going to, I can't remember what it was called offhand, but the initial like orbital scan done with the the sitting duck class previously <laughs> is that this is a weird planet. It's a desert planet. There doesn't seem to be any vegetation, but there does seem to be animal life. And they'd like us to figure out what the heck. How can there be animal life with no plant life? And so we have our week of shore leave. And we, then we get back and we hop in the ship. Brand new, spanking, sparkling new ship. Did they fix the old one or did they give us a new ship? I was the thinking they was probably, they probably, made, probably gave you a new one. I yeah. Yeah, never get too attached to a ship in this in this setting. I feel like in space loot they always give you a ship. Yeah, it, it feels it feels very Kerbal Space Program yeah. to me. Like they just strap the pieces together. Yeah. And then whichever pieces come back, they strap to other new pieces. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah, and then they, then they've got their like factory where they pull the lever and the standard piece yeah. comes out. Yeah. yeah. It's modular design. Yeah. yeah. It's a very efficient practice. Yeah. That's why each section of the ship has just three buttons. Yeah. Uh, and Bullseye Crater is littered with. Them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the corpse of the previous ship. Wait, they're all underwater. It's fine. You can't see it. So, uh, some of them miss. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't get to see a bullseye. <laughs> um, oh, so different words. Well, like, like, ow. Comes back. <laughs> Description of the actual flight out there. Now, did this episode have a name yet? Uh, no. Okay. No. We're, we'll, are we'll we posthumously well, naming episodes? We named them after we know what it's about. And so, I mean, if... If you were to start a new episode, and the ep- episode's name was uh, Flint Daniels and the Secret Traitor Amongst Them, or right. something like that, It'd that would kind obvious, of give it yeah. away. Yeah. yeah. And then I'd be like, what? There's a Secret Traitor? <laughs> anyway. So yeah, we hop in our shiny new ship, and we head off, and we play a game of Space Alert, 
and we try using the double move cards this time, mm. uh, which are supposed to make the game easier. <laughs> I, yeah, they make it easier, but they make it more complex. I should have, we should have had more practice. Yeah, it was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> two, I think two of the three sections of the ship got wrecked. No, actually only, only the, two one maxed the, out though. One, one, I know uh, Red Zone got up to like six yeah, damage. One got maxed out, one was like a couple from maxed out and the other got destroyed. Yeah. So, you know, we were close. Like, it would have been still a really poor score, but we were close to succeeding. Because yeah, there was there were one or two spots where we were like, oh man, we're dead. And then something happened that just barely squeaked us through. But then, finally, this thread at the end. Yeah, right. I, I'm realizing, I, my new plan is, like, well, Robert wants to run this session, but after that, we're just going to do, like, I was thinking about how, you know, I, I played Space Life quite a bit with um, oh, my yeah. sister and her husband. And we got pretty good, like, the point where we were, like, playing the yellow cards and considering playing the red card. But I realized, you know, we didn't get sure. good from, like, playing two times, yeah. right? We played like for like two afternoons in a row. And then, and so I was like realizing that's what we need to do, right? There were a couple of big flubs we did in that. My favorite flub was um, Lieutenant Yunus. When she leveled up, she picked this ability that allows her to teleport. Mm -hmm. She can swap positions with one other player during the course of Space Alert. And so partway through the, um, this, the, the game, Lieutenant Yun teleported to swap places with Pill. Mm. But she never told me. <laughs> and as it turns out, I was in a completely different place than where she thought I was. Mm. I was actually in the same zone as her at the time. So she teleported to swap places with me, which did nothing. <laughs> and surprised me, because I wasn't expecting that. Uh, she also was clearly intending... She thought she was going to yeah. teleport herself to you. Because she thought she was teleporting... She thought she was uh. swapping places to you. Or, no, she, was, she wanted to warp to you. Yeah. Because she thought you were on the red, and she was yeah. going to warp to red and fix the shield malfunction. Uh. But instead, she had given out the tokens backwards... Warping you to her. Oh, and it wasn't a swap. It was a. It's a. Oh, okay. yeah. It's just so. Okay. I, I think that's why she didn't bother telling you is because she thought she was warping you to her, but she screwed up who had the tokens, ah. and so then she's like, ah. So turns out I warped you to me. <laughs> <laughs> but we were in the same zone anyway, so nothing happened. Yeah, but unfortunately, it meant she didn't fix the shield malfunction. Right. Which is like, there's so many things. Like if we had fixed the shield malfunction, we wouldn't have died. If we had fired, if we hadn't got that, if, if someone had wiggled the mouse, right. So we didn't get out of sync and screw up when the pulse cannon shot the maelstrom, we wouldn't have died. Yeah. Um, there's another thing that, like, there's just and there, yeah. it's like, and we shot. It had like one hit point when it when it hit its head. Yeah. We wouldn't have died. Right? Yeah. But it's just yeah. nothing. A whole bunch of things were just one step away from actually. We, surviving. we just need practice because I think. You know, I think you just keep playing and get good over the course. Like the problem right is, now, you're, you you and your characters are about as good. I, I, the problem I, I, is that there's long gaps between when we play the space yeah. work. And, and I think so we're, we're, we don't learn as much. That we're way. too far away from like I'd like us to be. I'd like us to start where we're not guaranteed to succeed, but I'd like us to expect to succeed. On, because there's also the space alert can get harder, right? Right. On on the white cards, I would like us to be at a place where we're succeeding two thirds of the time when the game starts. We're clearly not there, and so that's where I want to get to, so that it feels like we're not just constantly being beaten down. Maybe just each week play one practice game, because then you keep up the skills. Yeah. yeah, maybe. But I found like playing back to back games really helps yeah. because then you say like in this we had lots of things like oh this is where we screwed up and, you know, like, right. what we needed so I jumped in because I played this many times and I was in the blue zone so I took charge of the blue zone I'm like okay I'm doing this Shannon or who, who can come to the blue zone Shannon said I can okay Shannon you do this you do this on this turn you do this and we just work yeah. together yeah. and I was like I'm assuming the other people are handling the other side of the ship that right. was a very Did bad assumption but that's your assumption was able to make when I yeah, played with other people who had played it lots, like yeah, my sister, yeah, right? Yeah. It's like, well, I assume they got it. Okay. And so we're like, okay, we, we just need here? to make sure that, like, if you're saying, I'm taking charge of the blue zone, and that's right up here in the red zone, you say, is someone doing that? And yeah. if no one answers, you say, is someone doing that? Until <laughs> someone says, yes, I'm doing it. And then yeah. now you don't need to care about it anymore. You trust them. Right. But, you know, but you know, it'll be weeks before we play again, so... Yeah. But whereas if you play right away again, you can basically put that into action. Right? Yeah. And then hopefully yeah. it becomes like riding a bicycle. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I like when you go back and play with your sister, it's like... Oh, I, yeah. I haven't played with her for a while, but I, I actually, this was the first space book game I've played mm. in ages. And I definitely found it was like... There was like some things I forgot, but it was still... It was very much like I, I still had the knack of like, jump in, take charge, I'm the blue zone. Right. You, yeah. you know, find someone to help me. <laughs> let's let's 
you know, mm-hmm. and you tend to pair up. That's what I find, right? Like you, and it's not always the same pairings. It's just kind of random who can be where. Yeah. And it's just like in this game, I might be paired up with Frank. Frank and I are a team almost the whole game. Yeah. And yeah. I assume that you guys are dealing with the red zone. <laughs> the difficulty with uh, I was having with that sort of thing. I, I was sort of like trying to do that a little bit, but uh, we were using the double move cards, and there were an awful lot of times when I needed to press a button, and the only way I could do it was to press a button and then move somewhere. Yeah. And so it I'd, sort of it scrambles your your ability to focus on one thing. Because... And I had forgotten that about the double move cards. In my mind, they just made the game easier, yeah. but slightly more complicated. But actually, they do require they do make the game easier. That the missions that have the cards actually have more threats in them because yeah. it's hard, it's easier. But they require a higher level of skill. So I should have practiced till we were good with the normal cards and yeah. then introduced them. But I yeah. forgot that they added hardness as well. Yeah. So anyway. Um, we did not succeed. We crash landed, very which much. was actually what Robert wanted anyway. Right. So, yeah. now he didn't have to stack the deck against us. Though. Right. <laughs> he just we just crash landed. He yeah. just watched it. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And actually, we were playing on an easier setting than we should have because we weren't yeah. playing with unconfirmed reports. Yeah. So, I feel like we kind of had the rude awakening that you usually have when you play Space Sword on the like you play it on the practice missions, mm-hmm. and it's like, oh yeah, you know, we we kind of got this, and then you play a real mission where there's like like three more threats, and you're like, yeah. Ah, 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 like, <laughs> Like, how can I? Yeah. But, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, so crash landed. some ship, pitter patter mm-hmm. into the desert. Yep. And uh, we crawl out of the wreckage. What is this planet called? Um, I can't remember I what can't it's called. Remember. Um, yeah. I think it started with a G. So, yeah, we all start. We'll call it Gordoni. We all start with an injury because mm-hmm. we, the ship crashed. Right. Uh, and so, of course, everyone crowds around Dr. Yoon going, help me, help me. <laughs> Yoon, uh, Yoon. Except, of course, Pill, who doesn't have medical injuries. Right. He's not injured to such a degree that he requires <laughs> medical attention. Right. However, <laughs> he did have an injury. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he went to um, uh, Hawking, mm. the engineer. Right. Guys, I'll be back with the machine if we need it. There, there you go. go. Yes. Went to the engineer and, uh, and told him, you know, that I, I have an embarrassing injury yes. that the doctor cannot address. Right. I am leaking. <laughs> I I have a prosthetic bowel. <laughs> and what I what I imagined the injury was was I was leaking water. Right. You know, I, my my environment chamber had been punctured, right. so I was leaking water, and it's a desert, so we gotta get that fixed. Right. And I was like, what what does a human have inside their abdomen that contains fluids that could leak? Right. A bowel. bowel. Yeah. So I have a prosthetic You're holding your bowel. side. Yeah. yeah. It's like I have a prosthetic bowel. It's leaking. And it's leaking. <laughs> so, yeah. And, Fortunately. And my, my character was, saw that and was like, and I sort of stared for a while and said, yes, I believe you. Here, let me fix it. And I was like, phew. And, and everyone was like, we're, as we're like both interacting, it's like still the way they're like, I just want to kill them both. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, I, I went up to Flint Daniels and I'm like, Flint Daniels, you seem to be a, 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 a master of uh, you know social interaction. Can you tell me how to pretend as though I believe Pill's ridiculous ruses? Yeah. <laughs> and he sort of said some stuff, but then said, Yeah, you know, with him, you can just say it and he'll believe it. Yeah. Like, oh, say, great. Say, I've I learned that. You. I can just say it and he'll believe it. Yeah. <laughs> say that I believe you, and he will be like, Phew, nailed it. <laughs> And when I asked that, he, he said, yeah, where are you from again? And I, I said, I'm from the, I'm from the, I'm from Washington State. <laughs> yes. I am from Upper Canada, yeah. like the Yukon. <laughs> yes, it's been esta- now it's established. Because I told, I told someone else that I was from Upper Canada. Right. And they were like, what, like the Yukon? I was like, yes, like the Yukon. <laughs> So I'm from uh, the Yukon. Right. Doctor, you well, healed my injury. The, you're from like so. the Yukon. Yes, like the, uh, I'm from Upper Canada, like the Yukon. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Yoon healed my injury. I was the only success, so... Uh, oh, I, I got... Oh, right, that's yeah. true. But anyway, that establishes that I'm not an alien in a robot suit, so... Uh, oh, <laughs> but like, it didn't help when you you muttered, or I don't know, maybe you didn't say this out loud, but you, you said something, you're like, I don't... Or they were talking about, oh, well, there's not enough oxygen for an extra person. Yeah. And you're like, I don't require oxygen. And I said, oh, I don't require oxygen either. <laughs> Wait, no, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so... They, that also didn't help with suspicion, <laughs> suspicion at all. But, uh, <laughs> I don't require oxygen either. Oh wait, yes. 
an important thing to remember. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, one other thing happened before we, we wrapped it. One particular one particular pile of wreckage from the ship was making noises like like there was an injured woman in there. Mm. Uh, and it turned out that Sabine had stowed away. Stowed away. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Ro- Robert put his PC in anyway. Yeah. And so she was kind of apologetic. She sort of felt like it was somehow her fault, though it really wasn't. But, <laughs> but yeah, she was, and she was badly injured. Real, so she had to stay behind at the ship because she was yeah. like pinned in some wreckage. So she, she's gonna repair. She's left her there. <laughs> <laughs> I think we pried her out of the wreckage. <laughs> Is she staying home to fix the uh, ship? Is that the idea? Yeah, she's yeah. staying back to fix the ship. Yeah. So. so she's not really coming on the mission, but <laughs> right. Robert what are you doing here? Injured. I stowed away. Well, <laughs> guess you're not going anywhere now. <laughs> Your injury is you have a ship li- lying on top of you. Yep. We haven't been able to fix it, so... We work on regrowing those legs. We'll yeah. see you soon. <laughs> so, yeah, and then we did, that's pretty much where we ended. We did we did do some uh, quad-quarter scans of the, uh, yeah. of the surface. And uh, oh, he described the, the environment. Um, there's, the planet has a ring. The sky, the sky purple? Purple, yes, and like her hair. It's like a barren desert. But some scans indicate that there's plenty of oxygen in the atmosphere, despite there being no uh, flora. And some still did some scans and discovered that there is uh, there's some sort al- of there's sand like, plankton. There's like or something. yeah, like algae or plankton or something in the sand. It's weird in itself, and that's where we ended. So we don't know. We also saw a balloon. Oh yeah, I forgot it was about some that. sort of balloon creature. So we basically just got our first view at our first scan, right. and we don't know. Yeah. So sandworms. Balloon. Yeah. No. Balloon. Skyworms. Yes. Balloon. Sky balloon. They're sent, they're sent, no, the, the people are in the balloon because they're trying to escape the sandworms. <laughs> the balloon had limbs. <laughs> okay, they're riding the balloon. <laughs> we'll find out. Well, we will explore and discover. Personal log, Flint Daniels. Space Ranger. Now this is more like it. Space Voyage, the exploratory way. Explosions. Desperate re- rescues, crash landings. This is the life. Personal log, Richard Pill. Encryption key, one, two, three, four, five. It would appear that the earlier successes of these humans was a fluke. We've crashed twice in rapid succession. However, I have developed a new skill at deception. Apparently, closing one eyelid improves uh, the, the efficacy of lies. An excellent skill to have picked up. I wonder if they're beginning to become suspicious. I'll have to be more careful. In other news, we are now crashed on a desert planet. That's terrifying. Lieutenant Chumley's report. Well, I've got to say I'm completely spliflicated. I just have no idea why they would have these of a strange kidney, like squirish, mutton-headed chuckleheads on this mission. No wonder we crashed. Oh, I am weeping cross to be here. I hacked up. I, I really wanted to come on this mission because it didn't feel fair to me that I'd be left out. And then I came, and then I, I screwed everything up by not actually participating in the the fight against the threats in space but I probably would have made it worse if I did and yeah this sucks we're we're in rough shape now but this planet is weird it's a wet desert with like water on it that that's weird the sky is nice it's the same color as my hair I'm gonna keep my hair like this while we're here because that's cool medical medical officers log number six uh, I regret to inform that almost all of the of uh, the crew members are injured. It's not a good way to start a mission. I, I was able to uh, mend Chum Chumley, and so he's okay. And uh, also, I was able to provide adequate first aid for what's his name, the guy that's here instead of Sabine. This this. Hawking guy? I mean, he thinks he can come and replace me, this this Getsy, Getsky over here. And uh, he's just, he practically has the same last name as, well, my family, my dad. 
uh, and he's he's an engineer conveniently, and then they don't want me coming on the mission. Screw this. Flex officer's personal log. It is most unfortunate that our first mission has met with failure. I feel that this is mostly due to the other members of the team, but I will keep that in my own personal log. Fortunately, this doesn't bother me nearly so much as it will later.